The new era of silicon photonics is being driven by us. We walk around with supercomputers in our pockets. We consume uh, streaming media. We participate in social networks. We benefit from personalized medicine, the Internet of Things. All of these trends uh, consume an escalating amount of data every year. And for reasons of capacity and energy efficiency, the trend has been away from copper interconnects to optical interconnects. Uh, energy efficiency, capacity, scalability, distributed uh, architectures for data centers, all of these are, for, are facilitated by photonic designs. In addition, we have future uh, plans for new types of computing that will definitely involve photonics. So photonic interconnects um, are increasingly important for all of us, and they need to be manufactured. That starts at the wafer level. This is a wafer prober made by Cascade Microtech, a division of Form Factor, and it shows how uh, the micro robots that are manufactured by my company, PI, are used in an embedded application to validate the health of chips prior to the packaging process. The real costs in making a silicon photonics device is actually in the, in the packaging. So you do not want to package a bad device. So the devices are validated and tested at the wafer level using one of these tools. After the chips have been validated on a wafer prober and diced off of the wafer into individual chips, they must be packaged. One of the most important steps for that is to attach fibers or fiber arrays to the chip itself. Our technology is unique in that it can perform input and output alignments and do so in multiple degrees of freedom all at the same time in a single step as opposed to the sequence of steps that used to be required. It's much faster. It's faster by about a factor of 100, it's not a small amount. So here in this application you can see the uh, a repeating uh, demonstration where we bring our input and output fiber arrays to a simulated chip that we have manufactured out of two glass arrays connected together because we can't show our customers' devices being aligned here. But here we bring the alignment or the input and output arrays into a rough initial position and then we perform the fine alignment to maximize the photonic efficiency of the device and of the couplings. And then usually our customers will perform some bonding uh, and other operations. The key here is the parallel execution of all of the alignments. It's unique in all the world. We can do the multiple degrees of freedom, the multiple inputs and outputs, all in one step. So it's significantly faster. The field is also enjoying a, a continuing unfolding of new technologies and uh, new devices, new approaches that are very exciting because they, uh, they promise continuing growth and continuing innovation in the industry. This is a really good example here. This is a high density interconnect that is pioneered by a company called Chiral Photonics in New Jersey. In this very, very slender uh, probe, there are up to 91 individual single mode channels that can be used to connect to a very high density photonic chip. So actually what we're showing here is the ability to align and automatically track the coupling between these high density chips and the novel high density probe. For more information about these positioning technologies, and their importance for research, development, and manufacturing of silicon, silicon photonics devices, quantum computing devices, and anything of this sort. Your best first place for information is to contact your local PI, applications engineer, and sales specialist. We have offices all over the world, and we're deeply embedded in these applications from the research to the manufacturing arenas.